directed by Lena Yadav, Parched made its debut here at the 2015 Toronto International Film Festival with a thundering applause from viewers and critics alike. With bold visual confidence and stark realism, Lena Yadav sensitively and realistically portrays a story of four ordinary women in a rural Indian village in Rajasthan who bravely throw off the traditions that hold them in servitude. Splendidly shot by Academy Award-winning cinematographer Russell Carpenter and produced by Asim Bajaj and Bollywood actor Ajay Devgan, Parch gradually accrues a feeling of grandeur, reflecting the way in which Yadav elevates these women's stories, transforming each character's struggles into a stirring portrayal of liberation. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. A beautiful film, but very complex. Complex situations, a complex story, complex characters, and complex emotions. So Lena, I'm going to start with you. What inspired you to create such a beautifully complex film? What inspired me was real stories that Tanishta shared with me about these women she had met while she was shooting her previous film in this village. And uh, starting from there, it was quite a discovery ride. From there, dis first deciding let's make sex in the village and then meeting these amazingly spirited women with very, very difficult lives and stories. It's not an expert view on anything yeah. or a statement on anything. I'm a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. I'm just making certain observations that I can see in life. I'm setting it out there for the world, hopefully, to see and discuss and pick up things culturally relevant to them. Now, as actors, such raw performances, you know, roles like this don't come across often. How important was it for you guys to be a part of this film? Lajo, Bijli, and Rani, three very different type of women, yet all coming together and experiencing something very similar. As you said, I think it's a very, very rare opportunity. It was based on some real experiences and stories, and we had the freedom that Lena also gave us to bring our own inputs in the film. And and we really made it completely our own. Also the people we were working with, there were so many women on sets that uh, we learned a lot from each other. We used to feed off each other's energies, support each other and a lot of how we performed came from there as well. All three characters, I find a, a Bijli and a Rani in a Lajjo and I find a Lajjo and a Rani in a Bijli. So I think, you know, to sum it all up, it was just a very beautiful collaborative effort as to even we would end up sharing each other's perspectives and what we thought of, you know, a forthcoming scene that we would sit down and really discuss. I would think like that, and, but I don't think Lajjo would do something like this. So we actually fed off each other's energies. Everything said and everything conveyed through the film is what every woman really um, at a deeper level wants to convey and wants to say. I think you're right when you said that to get an opportunity as actresses to play these kind of roles is a rare opportunity. We are a little spoiled now. <laughs> no. oh, we would expect the bar to be raised even higher, uh, you know, than in our next projects, and that's very difficult. Two very, very important people, uh, Asim Bajaj, who really made this project happen, to have a support and a backbone like that, and Mr. Ajay Devgan, who uh, supported a film like this. You know, he comes from a very mainstream background and to support and produce a film which is premiering at an international platform. You know, we are very, very thankful to him and all our angels. and when I sat there and watched the movie, I felt the pain and the happiness. When Bijli danced, I wanted to dance. You know, like you understood. And maybe it's because I have a sister, so I understand these things. How proud are you all to be a part of a project like this where you know that people are walking out of that theater and they're touched by these stories? I, I think as artists, uh, what we do, we are not activists. So there's a difference like we express ourselves, we raise questions and we try to give it a voice. And you know the fact like when, when you said that there were, there were reflections because maybe you have a sister, there was something that was striking a chord with you. And that's what happened in our first public screening that we had 
that day before yesterday with the audiences here that everyone identified with certain personal experiences of probably stories that they know and a lot of women found a voice there that you know this is something that we are voicing and I think that is a very uh, important beginning and it's a platform as Lena said that to start that discussion and the dialogue and the dialogue and discussion needs to continue it needs to continue till these changes you know come about I think I have to say it, <laughs> say it all but I think it's a very honest uh, film it's something that we yes. honestly feel so I'm extremely extremely proud of it Parched is, is just an expression of what all of us want to say mm -hmm. and it was it was very important that to have said it as sensitively as as Lena's managed to actually at the screening Mahesh Balraj who plays Manoj Lajo's husband yeah. he actually said that uh, after I did this film I looked at my sister and my mother very differently yeah. And I wanted to understand their stories much more. If that happens, I think we couldn't have asked for anything better. Don't forget to stay in the loop for your weekly dose of entertainment, glitz and glam with Anoki Pulse TV. You can catch us online at anokimedia.com and our YouTube channel. And don't forget to interact with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.